Welcome to Trogitrog's Let's Play Dungeons and Dragons Online. This is part three of the Delira's Chain, um, and this one is called Free Delira. It is going to be done on Elite, which will be making it level nine, and we'll go ahead and start it up. Alright, this quest, I don't think we really need anyone other than Dapper Dan, so let's get our buffs running here. Again, enjoy the narration. This here is a tricky spot. Uh, I'm gonna jump up over here, and these guys will spawn. And then, what I wanna do is jump up and around this, and you can get over this ledge, and you can get yourself a chest without having to have a fee for a wizard that has knock because this door here that you come to later on when you go up and around the dungeon to the spot um, you'll have to knock that door so you won't have to worry about that let's see we'll take those eh, take that I guess this stuff here I'll leave um, I don't have a whole lot of room on this guy so just have to deal with it I'm going to go over here just to make sure we get all the things spawned so they don't come chasing after us later. That's everything. Alright. first. We gotta do this room. This is one of the soul locks. We have to uh, basically click on um, five of these. A bright five. flame flares upwards as the first soul lock is open. Okay, so this is um, the eye lever. You open that, and that opens the door that we have to go through next. And this is a shrine if you need it. We're not going to worry about the archers, because archers don't move around too much in this game. So they can just stay there, shoot at the wall, I don't care. Um, There's going to be a door over here that has a rune above it. We'll have to get that rune uh, activated, so we have to go down into this lower area to do that. And then we go back up once it's done. Two soul locks are now Okay, I think we got one more guy. Yep. Ah, overkill. <laughs> so once you kill all those guys, the K rune is uh, activated for the door. You go through this door and go on to the next soul lock. 
There are a lot of uh, skeletons and undead in this quest, by the way. Uh, so, if you do this at level, uh, you'll probably be using all the shrines, just because of all the resources you'll be using. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the, uh, the archers. Um, this is the, the door that I was talking about earlier with the chest that we got to by jumping around. This door is locked. I'm not going to worry about unlocking it because there's just no reason to. Uh, we already got the chest. I'm going to grab the collectible, of course. Third soul lock is open. Two more locks, and Delira will be released. Got all those guys. Over here is a another shrine, and then you have this A lever. Pull the A lever and then go around. This room, I think, is probably the biggest room as far as the sarcophagi go. So, uh, you know, you can hit all the optional sarcophagi, you know, basically it's, you know, for the ransack bonus. Um, but I don't think you have to. So. Mainly need to do here is get the soul lock. So we get the soul lock. You hear the whispers of a faint female voice as the fourth seal is open. Then we work our way back around. I'm not gonna worry about these skeletons so much. I thought I heard a wraith and figured it was chasing me, but I didn't realize it was a soul lock guardian. Okay, so we have the last one. Uh, and here, again, you could go around and break all these. I'm not going to worry about it so much. Just put out a couple blade barriers to deal with them that way. Feel the room's temperature fall rapidly as the last soul lock is open. The Lyra has been released. Let me basically just use all of our big hitting spells here to get rid of it. Okay, and then that's that, and then Delir is here. That was kind of a fast, more of a speed run, not a super fast run, but, you know, I didn't want to take all day breaking every one of those sarcophagi and dealing with all the trash mobs that come out when you do that, because about every one of those, there's a skeleton that pops out. Anyway. So now we move on to the next one. Um, so she's going to tell me to go to uh, this guy, um, uh, Hargo Kimmer, and we need to basically ask him a few questions to get the next quest, and then come back and talk to her, and then go into the Necromancer quest. I think it's called Thrall the Necromancer. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll go on to the next one uh, in just a little bit.